So I've recently picked up, as far as I'm aware, one of the most expensive men's hairstyling products available on the market. Now I've tried some pricey stuff before, in fact some of my most favorite or most used products out there are on the more premium side at around 20-ish dollars, give or take a bit. But today we're jumping that price by nearly three times with this $60 hair product right here. This is in fact, Patrick's M3 Matte Finish Stronghold. The question is though, how good can a $60 product be and is it worth it? That's what we're gonna find out today. So just touching on that price real quick, this is a product that comes from Australia. So that $60 is 60 Australian dollars and that's equivalent to just under 50 US dollars. And if you're in the UK and you wanna pick this up, you're gonna be looking at around 40 pounds. It's pretty pricey. All right, so let's go ahead and start. What is Patrick's M3 all about and what does it have feature-wise to justify that $60 price tag? As mentioned earlier, this claims to be a matte finish stronghold product. It actually says on the back that it's designed for shorter length hair and also uh, thick or coarse hair. My hair type is on the thicker side, but I'd say the length is, is a little bit more of a medium length at the moment. It's a little bit shorter than my normal length, but it's not exactly short short. When it comes to performance, it says matte finish with a strong remotable hold, scientifically engineered to resist water and sweat during exercise and water sports. And one of their features is under the technology category called Patrick's Recovery Compound. And uh, what it says on the box, it combines damage reduction and protective technology scientifically engineered for men. Not really sure what the difference between men's hair and women's hair is, but that's what it says on the box. And then it lists a couple of ingredients that help to nourish the hair and scalp to minimize hair loss and reinforce existing hair mass. So according to them, they've got some kind of system that helps with hair loss and helps to increase hair mass. Perhaps that's part of the reason for that $60 price tag. Now there is one feature that I find really bizarre, and it says that this is water resistant up to a thousand feet underwater. I mean, what what does that mean? It sounds like I can, I can go swimming, fully submerge my head underwater, come back up, and I should have a perfectly styled hairstyle. We'll test that out in a little bit. Now, I want to take a look at the packaging, and this is one aspect that really makes the Patrick brand stand out from a lot of other hair products out there. It comes in a really sleek black box with just the brand name. When you slide it open, it kind of reminds me of, of like unboxing an iPhone with that glide effect. And beneath the box, You've got your Patrick's M3 product. Right off the bat, it reminds me of uh, Kevin Murphy style packaging with that rectangular shape. However, there is something a little bit different. To open it up, you take this tab right here, pull down, take the lid and pull up. And then boom, you got your product on the inside. All right, now that we've got it open, let's talk about the scent. When I first got this, I was very intrigued because the scent description uh, is quite unique. It says uh, Cologne de Labdanum and patchouli. I'm a sucker for unique scents that kind of take me by surprise. So I was hoping for something, you know, a little bit different and something a little bit exciting when I smelt this, uh, just according to the scent description. However, in reality, I can tell that they went for a very light, very non-offensive scent, which is fine. I mean, it is a pleasant scent. It doesn't smell bad or anything, but it's just, it's not that special to me. And of course, this brings us to the main event, how it works in your hair, how it styles as a styling product. Let's, try, let's test it out. I pretty much always use Original by Blumon as a pre-styler, so I'm staying true to that today, and we'll throw in M3 as a finisher. All right, my hair is blow-dried with Original. I'm a little bit closer to the camera now, so you can see a bit more what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and run this stuff through. Obviously I've done this before, so I know what to expect, but I'm gonna be demonstrating here for you guys. Now scooping it out has a fairly standard waxy consistency. It feels, you know, it feels like a number of other matte finished stronghold products out there on the market. I'd say it doesn't really feel different. As for the breakdown, it's fairly straightforward. Um, it breaks down, you know, nice and easy. Running it through is also a very pleasant experience. Um, but now this is where the problem for me starts. To me, this is not what a matte finish product should look like. I'm not sure how well this comes across camera, but it's actually very shiny in my hair. It has a little, it's, it's almost like a dirty look and a greasy look and it feels greasy as well. It doesn't feel clean when I, when I run my fingers through it. And that's not what I would expect from a product that claims to be matte finish. Now I know for sure that there are products out there like a lot of clays that start out a little bit more greasy or a little bit more shiny and they dry up in the next um, 15 to 20 minutes or so. That doesn't seem to be the case for me with Patrick's M3. I, I, I retain this dirty, grungy, 
almost greasy look pretty much throughout the whole day. And then on top of that, I wouldn't really classify this as a stronghold product either. Now I just recently got a haircut and every time that I do get a haircut product works with my hair better. So, so it appears like it's working pretty well, but I know for sure if my hair was any longer or any bit more, you know, just untamed, M3 would struggle to keep it in place. But like I said, the biggest problem for me really is the finish of the product and how actually shiny and greasy looking it is compared to what I would have expected from a matte finish product. And then there's the whole water resistant for a thousand meters thing. <laughs> Let's go test it out. All right, so says it's water resistant up to a thousand meters, meaning I should be able to go swimming. Uh, I don't have a swimming pool. We've recreated a mini swimming pool in our sink. I'm gonna dunk my head in here, pull it back out, and uh, I should be left with a perfectly styled head of hair. Let's test it out. Oh, it's that. It doesn't work, my hair's ruined. I don't really understand what that claim is about. Ah, to my eyes. All in all, I don't personally feel like the $60 price tag is justified with what I'm getting. It's hard for me to imagine like, what would it take for a hair product to be worth $60? What would it take for me to spend $60 on a hair product and be happy that I spent that $60? I'm not sure if there's features that exist that would ever allow me to justify that price tag. But even more importantly than that, because of this, the way that this product styles and the greasy-ish feeling and look that it gives, I wouldn't turn to this product over what I would normally use anyways. And what I normally use is, is a lot cheaper. If it wasn't for the greasy finish, I wouldn't be as hard on it. But for me, there's better and cheaper stuff out there. That said, if you are interested and you want the Patrick's experience, this will be linked in the description down below. On that note, hope that you found this video fun to watch. If you did, give it a thumbs up button. Subscribe if you feel like it, because uh, that would be great if I see you next week as well. And uh, on that note, I will be seeing everybody next time, next week.